Well, it's been a year since Taylor Swift's Eras Tour took Cincinnati by storm. And one year since meeting our favorite internet viral blanket clad friend as well. Local 12's Annie Brown joins us with a special report. Hey, Annie. Well, good morning. Bet you weren't expecting this special report. Well, you'd think the story starts here at Paycor Stadium, but it actually starts in Louisville, Kentucky, Blanket Swifty's hometown. That's where we traveled to reveal her true identity to you, something you'll only see here on Local 12. We made the hour and a half trip to visit Blanket Swifty at home, and while it was a weekday, she hadn't called in sick to work this time. <laughs> Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Look at you. Hi. It's good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> Lisa Willis has lived in Louisville her whole life, but when she and her friend decided to travel to Cincinnati to stand in Taylor Swift's Eras Tour merch line, she had no idea that just hours later she'd be internet viral. I came home and slept because we were so tired from being out there, and I, my friend had messaged me and was like, "Is this you? Because this is something that you would do." And I remember being like where did you see this? Like, how did you get a hold of this? This was in Cincinnati, like we are in Louisville. And she said, it's everywhere. Willis had called in sick to work that day in order to wait in line for coveted Taylor Swift merch. And when we asked her for an interview, she requested her identity shall remain anonymous. So work wouldn't find out. What started as a funny take on Swifty's dedication soon became an internet sensation. The inspiration behind countless internet memes, t-shirts, costumes, and artwork, even garnering the attention of national news networks and Sydney Sweeney and Glenn Powell while on press for the movie Anyone But You. It's extremely weird. Uh, me and my mom went to a coffee shop and they had little, um, who's the better Kentuckian? Blanket Swifty or Jack Harlow? And Blanket Swifty won. So that's weird. Willis's life is forever changed by the moment thanks to supportive Swifties and internet trolls alike, but she doesn't let any negative comments about her sick day habits detract from the humor, especially since work didn't mind when it found out. And they love it. Um, they talk about it all the time, so it's all good. Sorry, internet trolls. Since we spoke with Willis last year, her life isn't just changed by her internet fame. She's also expecting a baby boy, her second child in October. <laughs> just nine days before she'll attend the Eras tour for a third time in Indianapolis. That was like one of the first things I thought about when I found out I was pregnant. So you are hardcore, you are planning to go no matter what. Oh yeah, I will be there. Passing on the love for Taylor Swift to her young daughter, who will now be a big sister. We actually had a lover themed baby shower for her. And you know, she grew up, like she's growing up listening to her. I just think it's very important because Taylor Swift's about women empowerment, like equal rights, all of that. So I just want to instill that in my child also. And hoping Taylor Swift might name her baby boy. Taylor Swift, if you see this, name my baby, please, because I don't have a name. Now, we also asked Willis her thoughts on Taylor Swift's romance with Kansas City Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey. She says she loves it. She even suggested naming her baby boy Kelsey. For now, live at Pecor Stadium, Annie Brown, Local 12 News.